Good morning. I actually first met Todd about uh, two weeks ago at a roundtable in, uh, in New York City. And when I heard, first of all, that he had a title, CTO of the United States of America, I thought that was, that was pretty cool. Um, then when he told me that the federal government was hosting hackathons and data paloozas, I knew that was something I needed to be a part of. So great to be here uh, with you today. Um, and what we're really excited about, which is unusual about a topic of data, it's not necessarily the sexiest topic in the world, uh, but we're really excited to be here today talking about how data can be used to solve real world problems in education. And there are many of them. So we're going to go through a few of those and talk about some of what we're thinking about. So about two weeks ago, uh, Secretary Duncan pretty much uh, announced that the textbook uh, was going to be obsolete within the next few years. Well, it turns out Pearson's actually the largest publisher of textbooks. <laughs> so that posed an interesting conundrum for today. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we decided to come. Um, <laughs> And we decided to come because, for the most part, we agree completely. Uh, textbooks are heavy, uh, they're out of date, uh, they're one size fit all in the classrooms now of teachers teaching 30 kids who are all moving at their own pace. Um, and as the Secretary said, um, we also believe that uh, there needs to be a game changer. So another story that the Secretary mentioned was that the current model looks a lot like the factory model. That's the wrong model for the 21st century. And in his words, the new model is about personalization of education. And we couldn't agree more. And again, why we're so excited about data, because uh, in our view, data is going to be that vehicle which allows us to transform from the world of textbooks.